Flynn, I wanted to ask you about something Yuri said back in Nordapolica. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm talking about how Yuri said that he'd kill you if you became a bad person. Well, that's... For example, if you became someone that Yuri thought needed to be killed, do you think he'd swing his blade without hesitation, even if he was facing a precious friend like you? Yuri isn't the kind of person who can so easily kill others, but if he felt he really needed to, I imagine he'd even kill me. Really? Do you think he could actually do that? There was sadness in his eyes, but he was unwavering. Then it's true. But that kind of determination must be heartbreaking. Even if it's going to deeply hurt him, I believe he's determined to live the rest of his life with that pain. Yuri possesses just that kind of strength. You think so? But if Yuri is going to continue committing crime after crime, then I will have to stop him myself. I earnestly hope that day never comes, though. Flynn, you're really strong, too. Am I? I don't know about that. But I appreciate you saying so, Patty. Determined to live the rest of his life with that pain. soon enough.
taken out. You know how I hate waiting, Yuri Lowell. It's you. You were the one who wiped out all these people. I don't want anybody else getting in my way. We got no time to play with you. Where's Alexei? Where's he taking Estelle? <laughs> He's not here. He was never even here to begin with. What? What do you mean? So Alexei was using this fortress as a decoy. How charitable of him. He's a real piece of work. <laughs> Gotta hand it to him. He drew the knights and all of us to Heracles. Meanwhile, he slips out the back. Man, just when I thought I couldn't hate that guy anymore. We need to go after him now. Hey, hold on a minute. Aren't you forgetting someone? Shut up! Let's get this party started. I hate having to repeat myself. We've got no time for you, so take a walk. If you want to get in our way, you better be ready to hit the ground. <laughs> Good, Yuri. Hate me. Come on, hate me! There is no finer spice in all the world! <laughs> is he just getting in our way to make us angry? He's hopeless. Now, let us finish this, Yuri Lowell! Keep chasing us. I never thought he'd be here. Do whatever you want with this idiot. That's the last. Ooh, I uh, 
You're awesome! Yuri! You've got dependency issues, you know that? Enough is enough! Rita! I'm on it! It stopped. That's our genius mage. Now Sodia and her men should be able to get on board. Estelle, where have they taken you? Rita. She's nothing more than a tool to Alexei. If he keeps forcing Estelle to use her power, she could really unleash the Atafagos. Not on our watch. That's what we're here for, right? Rita, cheer up. We're definitely going to beat him and save Estelle. Right. We don't have a moment to lose. Heracles must be using a Hermes Blastia. That's the only thing that could power something this big. We've got to find Alexei! Fast! Baul can help us follow the disturbance in the air. If Estelle is being forced to use her power, we will find her. All right. <laughs> Yuri! This isn't over yet! The control panel! It started moving again! <laughs> Yuri, come fly with me! Ugh. My body... It's no use! We can't treat everyone at once without Estelle's healing arts! We can't let it end here! Ah, uh, yes! That's wonderful! Let's do it! Oh, oh, what a lovely little scream he made. Jaeger, what's going on? Are you here to get in our way again? It would be very bad, yes, very bad for business indeed, if the Empire got too big for its britches. Alexei has gone to Zophius. The sword stare of Zophius has a secret, you know. I thought for sure that he'd need Dane Nomos to use as a key. Yeah, but it looks like he's planning to use your little princess instead. What? What is he planning on doing to her highness? It doesn't look like now is a good time to discuss it. Man, this isn't good. At this rate, we're gonna flatten the lower quarter of Zophius. Rita! It's no good! This thing is totaled! We just have to cut its power! I wish you the best of luck with that, so... Toodles! Ah, uh, wait! Jaeger, you bastard. What is he even after? Let's think about that later. Right now, we've got to stop Heracles. I know. Let's go find the engine room. Jaeger, you won't get off the hook next time. No one gets Jaeger but me. Not even the boss of Brave Vesperia. It's not my place to comment on your friendships, but... What is it, Judy? I think it'd be a good idea if you cut your ties with this Soggy character. I've been hacking away at them since we first met, believe me. Where'd you run into such a unique individual? He seems to be a pretty stubborn fan. I have to hear how this romance began. In the castle, right before I left the capital behind. Flynn was supposedly his original target, but before I knew it, he got sort of fixated on me. It can't be easy having such a crazy admirer. Tell me about it. That's the kind of love I can do without.
Sensei has been using the Knights for his own personal gain. What are you talking about? The Commandant is an honor to the Knights, and someone we should all follow. Flynn is trying to overthrow His Excellency. He's the real traitor. Ah! Ah! Are you all right, Sodia? Captain, you're okay. I'm impressed you beat all these guys on your own. I don't recall asking for your help. Don't they teach you knights how to say a simple thank you? I will never give thanks to you as long as I live. You didn't think I could just let you walk away, did you? Enough, Sodia. This is hardly the time. Captain, why are you always defending? Jeez, how many times am I gonna have to say this? We don't have time to mess around with you. If you really want to do this, then we won't hold back. There's something else we've got to be doing, so try and keep out of the way. So you plan to rescue Lady Esteli? Yeah. So come on, put down your sword. He's right, you know. Nobody come out a winner in this fight. Captain Schwann. The name's Raven. You'll remember that for me, won't you? Yuri Lowell. Once I finish cleaning up this mess, I'll be back to deliver your punishment. Well, that is your job, but I'll do as I please. Vice-Captain! And Captain Flynn, too? I'm so glad you're here. We're engaged in battle. There's too much of a difference in firepower between our fleet and the Heracles. We won't last much longer. I must ask that you please take direct command. It does sound like they're really going at it out there. I'm begging you, sir. Captain, I can't handle this all on my own. Well, I... Your subordinates are in a real jam. Go help them out. But... We'll be fine. I'll join up with you later. Let's go. Looks like the Knights are having a hard time, too. If we don't bring this thing down right now, they're gonna have more than just a headache. All right, off to the engine room we go. What's Jaeger thinking? It's almost like he's trying to help us. Well, he said himself that he didn't want the Empire becoming too powerful. Then maybe it's safe to take him at his word. He lays that whole nut job act on pretty thick, but he is in the business of selling weapons. And if the Empire was on top and the world was at peace, well, nobody would need any weapons. That would make sense. So he's trying to drag the fighting out as long as he can. And that's no good for anybody. I... I won't let him get away with it! Yeah. Crazy. The Blastia is out of control! 
It looks like Zoggy smashing up that control panel did more damage than we thought. So, so what the hell are we gonna do about this thing? Wait! I don't think waiting is going to do us any good. No, I think I get it. Look at that! Uh, what is that? Air is being transferred at a tremendous rate. There can only be one place something this big could be sending that much power. The part on the Heracles that requires the most power. A cannon? If we were to destroy this Blastia now, it might stop Heracles. But the cannon could go off and blow Zophias clean off the map. No way! So what should we do? Well, whatever we do, we have to stop this air. De Nomos, huh? Oh, yeah! That's what Duke used to get the air back under control. Can you really do that? I don't really have a choice. Here goes nothing. and causing the air to go out of control. Are we gonna break it? It's like one of the Entelikea's souls, right? Great, that's what it's down to. If Heracles keeps going, we can kiss Zaphius goodbye. Not to mention that cannon might decide to go off. Yeah, we have to act now. Thank you. Stopped? What about the cannon? Not good. At this rate, it's gonna fire. No way! We shut the power! I was really worried there for a second. That's some friend you have. <laughs> there he goes again, showing off as usual. Hey, am I the only one who heard a voice when you cut the Apatheia? No. That might have been the voice of whatever Antelakea it used to be. It was like the consciousness within the Apatheia willed the air back to normal. I think we're done here. Now we've got to get to Zophius to rescue Estelle. I'll call Ba'ul. We should get somewhere out in the open. We've lost too much time getting sucked into this Heracles decoy business. Let's hurry! Well, the air back to normal. The Apatheia and air. The Rizomata formula and Estelle. Whew! <sighs> that was a close call! I did not want to watch the lower quarter get destroyed right in front of me. We owe your friend a debt of thanks. He's not too subtle, though. He went ahead with his knights and all of us still in here. Flynn would do just about anything to defend the capital, and he'd use his own body to shield everyone else. That's his thing. Kid's got more nerve than I gave him credit for. What'd you expect? He's Yuri's friend.
Is Flynn down there? The fleet looks like it's in trouble. Oh no! This is not good. Judging from the tilt, those ships are taking on water. If they don't pick up the pace, they're gonna sink. Isn't that Flynn yelling down there? Doesn't look like there's any way to break away from that. I feel bad for doing this to Flynn, but we really need to get going. Are you sure? You're gonna get an earful later. I'm used to his lectures. Judy, take us out of here. Baul! Baul, head towards the capital. Yeah, thanks. Everyone, get on. You won't get away this time, Alexei. I'm alive. <sighs> Did everybody make it? I'll be all right. <sighs> I'm alive, but I can't say much more than that. Feels like I might have snapped a few bones. The ship's a mess, too. You won't get away with this, Alexei. Ow! 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 Yuri! It hurt! That thing Estelle did. It was like Day Nomos. Must be what happens when you get a few Epithea together at once. Don't try to talk. We're gonna get you both to a doctor. Try and hang in there for a little longer. Thank you, old friend. We owe you so much. It looks like Baul won't be able to give us a lift for a while. No. 
He'll have to rest somewhere until his wounds are healed. You've done more for us than we could ask. Take care and rest well. Plenty to worry about without thinking about Estelle. I... If we go after Alexei like this, we're sure to get our butts handed to... It seems we're somewhere near Kapwa Noor. Let's go to Noor Harbor. There's bound to be a doctor there. Yeah. I don't like that sky. The air is boiling like thunderclouds. There's a mean storm brewing. Is this a sign we're about to get hit with some kind of disaster? I just finished building my house for crying out loud! They're really in an uproar. Not that I blame them. I'll bet things are pretty crazy in the capital, too. Where did you come from? Did you hear anything? No, we were... Why are all of you here? You look terrible. What happened to you? Oh, it's you. We've been through a lot. Do you know any doctors around here? Sure, I, I know a doctor. Well, do you think you might be able to bring the doc to the inn? We're too beat to even walk anymore. All right, I'll be back soon. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank goodness you came. You'd return from Helliard then? Yes. I still can't thank you enough for your help before. Oh, hello there. Are you with them too? Aye! What? Do you know them? After I got Polly back to his home, they let me sleep over and eat with them. Oh, right. After you left Rago's palace. Now that there's a new magistrate, Nor had become a much nicer place to live. But now, with that sky looking the way it is... Hey, mister! Hey, mister! Did you hear it? There was a loud sound like... Boom! And then everything was shaking like an earthquake! A town official is currently going to see what happened. Hey, where's that nice lady who was with you? Is she gone? Uh... Now that I think of it, that girl would have been able to heal your wounds. What happened to her? A certain worthless idiot handed her over to the bad guy. Now we're chasing after them. <laughs> I see. I guess I shouldn't have asked. I'm sorry, but she's away for today. Oh, really? Don't worry. The next time we come, we'll bring her with us for sure. Really? Yay! For now, you should just get some rest. Excellency, it's horrible! The road, the road! It's gone! Huh? There's a giant hole on the other side of a meat hill! It's burning hot all around it. I wasn't able to get very close. What? Uh, just like that? I suppose that's what all that rumbling was earlier. Even if we were able to get near that hole, getting across it would be impossible. No one will be able to go past a meat hill like this. So then, Nor is cut off from everyone else? This is bad. This is real bad. Could this be...
The blast from the Heracles cannon? What have they done? So it did end up hitting something after all. Thankfully, it missed hitting any of the towns. You guys sure you're all right? No, I heard all over. Estelle's in trouble. I can't just lie around. Yeah, what he said. What's our next move, though? If the road to Emmied Hill is out, couldn't we take a boat around? I'm afraid not. A little while back, the Knights came and took any boat that could make a long trip. Thanks to them, the harbor's dead empty. How about repairing the Fiertia and heading round by sea? The keel's all smashed up, so it'll take a while to fix it. Damn, at a time like this. Well, there is one way, but I'm just not sure how I feel about recommending it to you. If it'll get us through, let's hear it. We've got to get to the capital fast. I'm afraid it'll end up taking you a fair bit out of your way. But if you go north, just before Emmied Hill, there's a thin strip of coastline. It'll eventually come to a dead end. But in this season, it freezes over and becomes an ice flow. The Blade Drifts of Zophair. Right. If you're lucky, you should be able to make your way across the flow on the ice. So in other words, if we go across there, we can take a detour to the middle of the continent. The Blade Drifts of Zophair, huh? I heard nobody goes there. Not even fishermen, because of the story. You're also gambling on nature here. So there's no guarantee you'll be able to get through. Nature, after all, is more often the enemy of man. Quite the keen observation, Patty. If that's our only way, then we'll have to go for it. Okay, let's do it. Thanks for your help. Least I can do. There wouldn't be much left of this family if it weren't for you all. Only thing I'll ask is that you don't disappoint my boy. You got it! Estelle said something just before her power was fully activated, didn't she? What do you think she was trying to say? Sorry, old Raven didn't catch it. <sighs> Yuri? gone soon enough. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Baul's wounds heal quickly? My, is that concern I hear in your voice? Well, yeah. I mean, we've been asking too much of him, really. It will take some time, but he should recover. He's quite a fighter, you know. Oh, good. So don't worry, okay, Rita? All right. I just... Hey! I'm the one giving out the sympathy here. You really must learn to control that temper. Okay, old man, we get it already. The aged have lower body temperatures, you know. Oh, but I wouldn't care for the heat of that desert. You're gonna slip and fall if you don't shut up. Oops, too late. Watch it there. We old folks are fragile. Uh, sorry. Man, this is really some place. Sort of a cross between mysterious and just plain creep. There are swords coming up out of the ice. Yeah. They seem to be all over. Just what kind of place is this? They're relics of a battle that happened long ago between pirates and the Empire. Hmm. N now that you mention it, I I've heard about that. You're just full of information, aren't you? It's stuff that I picked up when I was researching about Ifrey. I thought Zophair got its name from the sharp cold, but I guess I was wrong. I don't think you were too far off with cold as a void. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Whoa! What was that? It's big! Is that an Entelikea? No. I don't sense intelligence in it. So it's a monster, right? We'd be in trouble if that thing attacked us. It's a bite of Joe. A monster with a rigid, sparkly back and a super strong body. It shouldn't bother us if we leave it alone. Forget about it. Let's go. Carol! Huh? Oh! to take a chill pill. It looks like he's taken a liking to- I prefer dates who are a little less aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> 
I wonder if we can catch it somehow. You wanna eat it or something? Cold water fish have more fat to insulate their bodies from the low temperatures, making them oh so delicious. White meat is just perfect for skewers. Uh, that's not a fish, you know. That thing's a monster. Killing me. My nose, <laughs> so salty, so cold. You sure are energetic, old man. If we just sit around t t talking, we're gonna f freeze our butts off. <laughs> Patty, this would be a great time for some of your piping hot skewers. It's frozen. Uh, uh. How annoying. weird. 
That monster seems to have times when it bothers us, and times when it leaves us alone. Yeah, I don't like it one bit. If we stand on really thick ice, I don't think that we need to worry about being attacked. If that thing comes at us, we can just kick its butt. Bring it on! I'd really prefer not fighting something like that head-on at the moment. Let's get back to land as soon as we can. And back to someplace warm. <laughs>
careful. this. I told you to get out of here! If you keep this up, you're gonna die! Uh, I'm fine. You most certainly are not! No, it's alright. You guys are all here. Carol, don't! You're all right behind me, so no matter how bad I'm beat up, I can't lose! Move, damn it! If you don't, the kid's gonna... you took. Oh, my God. 
Don't try to do everything alone. Show off! But you did very well. I'm not done. That's the... Ooh, I just... We did it! You idiot! What were you thinking doing that alone? Carol! Carol! Hey, Carol! Come on, keep it together, kid. He's all right. Once he calmed down, it all went out of him. He's just passed out. <sighs> this kid. What if you checked out before we even rescued Estelle? Cut him a little slack now. Facing down challenges like that is part of becoming a man. Not to mention he saved our butts. Yeah, we would have been lunch without Carol. <clears throat> Facing down challenges. Exactly. Those times when you just know you can't turn tail and run. Hell. Everybody has those moments at least once in their life. Let's get out of here quickly. Carol's weak. This can't be good for him. Right. I owe you one, boss. That was very impressive. Why'd you have to go and be a hero? Seriously, when is that kid gonna learn to be a good boy and act his age? <clears throat> I've never seen him show courage like that. I swear I lost a year off my life just watching him. Well, we almost lost our entire lives, so we owe him one. But that was just crazy. Absolutely crazy. I know. We have to watch him and make sure he doesn't do anything crazy again. Yeah, I'm through losing precious years of my life to that boy's antics. <clears throat> They're actually agreeing for once. We all share a pride in what Carol did for us, each in our own way. <laughs> it just comes a little easier for some of us. Can exit to anybody else? Tired already? We old folks lack stamina. Judith, be a dear and take him for a spell. Oh, I wouldn't dream of stealing your job from you. Carol, you're awake, aren't you? No, I'm not. Ugh. Well, Carol, you're really good at pretending to be asleep. Forcing a poor old man to work in this cold, Mr. Carol? You're made of tougher stuff than I might have guessed. Feeling better, Carol? Yeah. We were really worried about you. Me too. You didn't look that worried to me. Really? That's weird. <clears throat> Just never do that again, okay? We're all in this together. Okay. Mind telling me what's so funny? Hey, easy, Yuri. I was just remembering something the Dawn said. Take care of your friends and they'll be there when you need them. Was that it? Yeah. I was thinking maybe this is the kind of thing he meant. Well, if you feel like you understand what he said, I'm sure you're on the right track. I hope so. All right. The exit's right in front of us. Let's go. Everything all right? Yeah. I was just thinking that maybe all the ice here was made by the air. The ice? From the air? Well, if all things are made up of air, that would make sense. 
The air crene here was actually quite stabilized. Enough for a monster to control it. Maybe if huge quantities of air could be made solid, it would help stabilize things. You mean something like that could restore the air imbalance and stop the disturbances? I'm not sure. It would probably need to be more efficient, and it would take a lot more air. It sure would be awesome if we could do that, though. So, you want to stay here and research this air crane? No, there isn't time for that. Yeah, and we've already burned enough time here as it is. Let's go. Estelle, please be okay. <sighs> Once we're out of here, let's ask somebody about what's happening in the capital. Sure thing. If we want news of the situation in the capital, wouldn't going to Halur be the safest bet? Good call. Not only do they have a barrier, we can rest while we're there. Well, some shut-eye sounds good to me. Well, if that's that, then let's get moving. I'm damn near frozen to the bone as it is. After your little one-man crusade? Huh? Uh, I guess. I mean, I feel okay for now. How unlike you to worry about Carol, Rita. It's not that I'm worried about him, I... We can't show up with injuries when we're going to rescue a princess who has to heal everybody. Yeah, that's what I meant. If you say so. There are a lot of people here. They're refugees from the capital. See how they're all well dressed? It looks like there's nothing unusual with the barrier here for now. <sighs> Carol, are you okay? Looks like he ain't okay at all. He's got a bad fever. He really overexerted himself. All because he had to go and be a hero. I swear. Yuri. Huh? Oh, sorry. Let's go to the end so that Carol can rest. It's actually nice to be back. Oh. It all started with trying to recover that aquablastia. Couldn't have guessed then we'd be heading out on a trip that spanned the globe. Oh. Don't worry, Rapide. 
I'm the same guy now that I was then. It isn't me. It's the situation that's changed. Yeah. It's just a new set of circumstances. <laughs> And welcome to Denabola Inn. Don't worry about paying. Huh? Why? Probably because we don't look like we have any money. Well, you see, an important official is visiting the mayor's house right now. And it's by his orders. The government's handling the money for the inn so that anyone can stay here for free. That must be for all the refugees that have come to the town. Circumstances being what they are, it takes the fun out of it. But our business is booming thanks to all the visitors to our town. Sounds like a good deal for the Empire. So does that mean you don't have any vacancy? You're in luck. I have one room that's not taken. <laughs> then I'll take that room, thank you. Hey there, no cutting in line. Of course, I wouldn't think of not paying. I'll pay ten times the regular price. I'll also give the same amount to you travelers. That should settle things nicely. You son of a... Oh, I'm so scared. I took another look at the register, and it seems that I don't actually have any vacancies. So sorry. Come again. What?! I knew this town was in the sticks, but this is- Honey, let's just go on to Heliord from Nor Harbor. Well said. I should be thankful we don't soil our clothing in a filthy little hovel like this. We're gonna be in for a nasty surprise when they try to go to Port Nor. <laughs> sorry to have kept you waiting. Your room is upstairs. What? But you said there weren't any vacancies. Business is business, right? Yes, don't worry about it. I can't stand people like that. And wasn't it you who saved Halur's tree? This is the least I can do. Enjoy your stay. All those refugees. The capital must be in a sorry state. What evil you think that bastard Alexei is going to perpetrate next? There's no way I'm letting Alexei get away with all the stuff he's done. Who cares about Alexa? Estelle. I want to save Estelle. Yes, but to do that, we need to take care of Alexa, and we need to come up with a better plan to do it. We can't let ourselves get blasted all the way back to Nor Harbor again. <sighs> well, we can't go anywhere till Carol gets better, so we might as well gather some info around town, don't you think? Good idea. Someone might end up saying just the thing we need to hear. Wasn't the innkeeper saying that someone important from the capital was in the mayor's house? Let's go and have a look-see. Old man? Someone's gotta look after the boy, don't they? Leave that to me. You kids go on ahead. <laughs> 